Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here with another custom e-bike build. Um, today I'm going to go over what the customer was looking for, the bike, what components we use, and I'm going to put this bike through a Johnny Nerd Out performance test. If you're new to this channel, I am Johnny Nerd Out. I am a professional e-bike builder and mechanic and general nerd. I like all things e-bikes, motorcycles, motorized gadgets, tech stuff, nerdy crap. So if you like stuff like that, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of content like that. Some of it you might like. All right, so this was kind of an interesting one because the customer was just looking for something somewhat basic. Um, he just wanted something to go around with, maybe go down to the bar with here and there and just kind of have fun with. He didn't have a bike, so he sent me with trying to find a bike. And I was able to find this bike for a really good deal. It needed some work, so I was able to fix it up and got him a great bike at a great price. Um, it's a Diamondback Overdrive XC. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, a one by 10 drivetrain, so it's got a huge gear ratio, plenty of gears to work with. It's got a remote lockout for the front fork, which is really nice for when you're going off-road or on-road, you could switch between the two. Um, it's got a RockShox front fork, which is high quality. Uh, it's got 29 inch by 2.2 wheels, so these things will just roll over everything. He had me add a Cella Royale drifter seat because he wanted something really nice and cushy to it. So this thing is going to get the job done. This thing's going to be like sitting on a love seat the entire time. Um, so in order to keep costs down, we went with the BVS 02 motor. It's the mid drive by Bafang. Um, still it puts out 750 watts nominal power. Just puts out plenty of power. It's not gonna be any, any slouch when it comes to performance. He did want a big battery, so we could do long distance. We got a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery here. So that's over a thousand watt hours of power in here, which should be able to give 50, 60 mile range with not a whole lot of hard pedaling. We did a basic display, six, the C965 display. Shows plenty of data, no frills though. Just shows speed trip and your odometer essentially uh, the only add-on we did we did add the gear shift sensor onto it um, if you see my other videos you know that i like adding these on i think it's a great protection when you have a mid drive it just cuts power momentarily while you're switching gears just so it protects the chain protects the rear cassette and it's going to add a lot of life onto your drivetrain you don't need this but it is nice to have it takes a lot of pressure off of you to release power while you're switching and it's just it's a fail-safe measure to keep your drivetrain in good shape So that does it for this bike. Um, if you like this video, you find it helpful or entertaining at all, please throw me a like. Um, we're trying to get this uh, video to be the most liked video on YouTube. Uh, right now it's still Charlie bit my finger, but we're hoping that this one could overtake that one in a few weeks. So if you could do that, that would be great. And feel free to comment below um, if there's content you want to see. Maybe there's something I'm interested in too. I'd be happy to help you guys. All right. See you guys later.